Hi friends and viewers, welcome to Food Channel. Today I'm going to cook uh, on a South Indian dish which is called Dal Pungal and uh, it, it accompanies with Dal Sambar. So I will uh, uh, show the uh, process of cooking in the continuous video and uh, please watch it and subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon so that it will definitely encourage me to put more videos and uh, this is the only channel which shows you practical life of an individual how he has to survive in a single bed hotel room with no kitchen and with electric cooking with um, a rice cooker and a saute pan with two ladles and a knife thank you hope you'll enjoy have a nice day before starting the pongal we need to uh, boil the two dal because it takes some time so i took uh, one cup of uh, two dal in this uh, glass hello friends welcome to food channel now i'm going to make a simple dish which is called dal pongal with dal sambar i will show you both the recipes here and this is my uh, ingredients for that and the pan for cooking and then the rice cooker for the dal and rice boil so the ingredients uh, for the pongal is uh, like whole pepper black and then two dal and then moon dal and then cumin seeds turmeric powder ghee rice ginger green chilies and then you need a electric rice cooker and uh, for stir frying electric pan which is connected to electric outlet so let's begin the process of making dal pungal so uh, we are doing the misampla we are cutting green chilies and chopped ginger and chopped coriander You can add curry leaves also, that is also a good flavor. If you get curry leaves, you can add curry leaves. Welcome to Food Channel. Now we are at the verge of preparing uh, pongal. So set the temperature to 300. After a few minutes, take a ghee put like two teaspoon of ghee. Set it aside. Once it becomes a little hot, just spread it across. Now put uh, ginger, green chili, and 
just sort of it. You'll get a very good <coughs> smell now. After just sauteing for a little bit and then add some cumin seeds like uh, one and a half teaspoons for the pongal the cumin seeds are good And then you need to add some uh, one teaspoon of black peppercorns. So now we have to stir fry for at least uh, uh, five minutes to seven minutes. So we'll get a good flavor of ghee. And I reduce the temperature to 250 because I don't want to get it, make it black or. Okay, what we can do in the meantime, we can uh, wash the moon doll with the same amount of uh, uh, measurement, one glass of moon doll. We'll wash it and we need to stir fry it. Let's do the process now. In the now meantime. add, uh, it's done, now add the coriander leaf a little bit and then stir fry. looks yummy it's just a very simple dish with not too much smoke and other stuff so we can make it in a small room where I am like staying where I need to survive so this the recipes which I'm going to give are very simple and it's good for health as well as it's not going to take very long time so wait uh, I have uh, then the moong uh, moong dal and i have washed it and i have put it over here we need to put that in this <coughs> and fry it along with it wash the moong dal at least two times <coughs> so why am I putting and uh, sauteing it with uh, this one is so that the uh, moong dal will get good flavor of ghee and other spices which we have added so that uh, the pongal will be much more flavorful so it's a very simple dish so now we are uh, going to wash the rice and then add it to it I added two cups of rice in this and then I washed it and then uh, I'm going to put this along with this uh, whatever uh, stir fry which we are doing <coughs> and stir fry it along the, with the uh, <coughs> along with the dal so that it uh, takes all the uh, flavors which are in Don't waste rice, just take it in your hand and then put it or you can add a little bit of water if it is really sticky and then pour it in the stir fry mixture. <coughs> Mm-hmm. <coughs> 
<coughs> you can use any brand uh, here the rice has to be served otherwise it will get stuck stick into the pan so once it is stirred after few minutes once you feel it's getting stick into that we need to add uh, at least uh, five cups of water in this <clears throat> now reduce the temperature if it is really stick put it in the warm for a little time let's bring the water and add it <coughs> so I took uh, two cups of uh, rice in this so I'm taking around uh, four and a half uh, cups of water uh, you can add little bit more if you need and now I'm just putting that into the uh, mixture <coughs> for the fungal you need at least uh, you can put uh, for the rice and dal to boil I think you can put uh, at least five five and a half cups of water with two cups of rice that would be ideal uh, because the rice has to get uh, broken down into very small not like uh, regular rice chawal so it is combined with the dal so it will be like very soft so my suggestion would be like uh, put uh, at least uh, five to five and a half cups water so that the rice becomes really soft and dal also boil and keep that at uh, 250 and then let it cook and the uh, chawal will be ready <coughs> now the dal is boiled you see the uh, sound and uh, it's coming out nicely let's wait see you soon welcome back and uh, it's still boiling you can see now I have to add uh, uh, the salt for it and then little bit of turmeric uh, to the uh, pongal rice so uh, I will be adding it now you can add uh, the salt according to your need and uh, one teaspoon of turmeric that is sufficient let it boil I'll be back welcome back to uh, food channel now we are going to see the misampla for the preparation of sambar so first uh, this is, uh, you know, this is imli, it's tamarind, and then we need to soak uh, uh, at least a small chunk of tamarind for the sambar for one cup. At least you need to have uh, this much tamarind has to be soaked, and then you need one onion. I'm just telling for the one cup of two dal and you can add some potato and then tomato rich whole rich chilies and I use uh, Shakti Sambar powder which you will get in Indian supermarket <coughs> anywhere any Indian supermarket and then a little bit of uh, small uh, ginger and uh, and I'll I add always a little bit of peppercorns a uh, little bit so now we are going to start the process of uh, soaking the tamarind in warm water make sure you are soaking it in the warm water okay let's start the process welcome back to food channel the one of the final ingredients is that soaked tamarind if you see it has uh, soaked out pretty well it will have seeds there are seedless tamarind also you can buy it we have seeds you can put it but while eating you need to be careful and now I have cut the uh, sambar masala in it and uh, it's ready so I'll be using this for uh, 
for putting into the sambar later. Okay viewers, I am in verge of cutting tomato. First wash the, wash the tomato and cut it in cubes. We are going to put the tomato directly into the boiling um, dal, to dal. Just cut it, keep it aside. Also wash the uh, potato and cut a little smaller so that it will boil fast. potato so now uh, potato and tomato and uh, ginger we need to chop a little bit so I'm going to put uh, both of these uh, including the it's boiling the dal is boiling so once it is uh, half boil I'm just going to put this tomato in it <coughs> and also potato so that it will boil and also I'll uh, put uh, onions sliced onions to it and uh, the red chili I just put it <coughs> so let it get boiled along with the dal <coughs> you want to add some water if you feel it's little less you can add it now you just close it back I'll put a sliced onion as well now Welcome back to food channel. Now I have added the uh, chopped on uh, the sliced onion and then a little bit of coriander if you see here and then if you see ginger I have added to it and now I am putting everything into boil along with the uh, dal so that the mixture gets good flavor and if you want you can add uh, for the taste you can add one spoon of ghee also that's for extra taste because i like little ghee so i'm just adding to it welcome to food channel hey guys i forgot to tell you like you have to add drumstick so you'll be getting drumstick uh, in a frozen format uh, cut and frozen format in indian supermarket you can get that and then uh, you should add the drumstick uh, along with this uh, uh, the ingredients which I put before or you can a um, little bit heat in the microwave for at least uh, 7 to 10 minutes and then put it back into the dal and the sambar dal the sambar dal is coming out good if you see it's just boiling so I'm going to put the, the drumstick in the microwave for 10 minutes and then I'll put it back into the sambar Welcome back to food channel. Now it has boil coming out nicely. See, it's very aromatic. You see, now I'm going to pour the tamarind into the soaked, soaked tamarind. Just pour the water into it. Don't pour the tamarind. Just pour it and add a Add two teaspoon of uh, sambar powder, shakti sambar powder. That's what uh, I have it. I just add two teaspoon of uh, sambar powder in it. Two 
two and then store it. If you want more powder you can add but I don't want so much powder. So I've just added two teaspoon of Shakti Sambar powder. Now let it cook. Sambar will be ready. Hey all, uh, welcome back to food channel. The final presentation is ready and this is how you have to serve it. And this is called Pongal, that is Dal Pongal with Tur Dal Sambar, which has a good ingredients, which has drumstick, you have potato, you have richelli, you have coriander, you have turmeric, you have chili powder, you have coriander powder and it's all mixed kind of flavor you have ginger and then it's really awesome it's good for the uh, Sunday or Saturday you can eat it is a little bit heavy so you can have it in the uh, dinner or you can have it in the morning and have a nice sleep you will get good sleep after having this I'm pretty sure I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please subscribe us um, so that I can put more videos on it on how to manage a single life with a small room with no kitchen and using the electric um, st electric cooker and electric pan to cook very simple and neat food which will help you to move along the whole day energetically Thanks for watching the food channel. Kindly like the video and subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice rest of the day.